actually called you in here to specially thank you from the bottom of my heart for your tireless efforts in taking this company to where it is today. Blue Planet, in just two years, has gone from a company on the brink of bankruptcy to a Fortune 500 company. Courtesy of this one man here that stepped in and tightened all the loose ends on the company. <laughs> Once again, my appreciations. Thank you very much, sir. I am very honored. I should be the one more honored. <laughs> uh, yes, um, so how is your beautiful and adorable wife? She's fine, sir. How is her writing life? She's actually writing the book at the moment. Wow. I can't wait to read that. You see, I have read all her books. All of them. <laughs> I know, sir. Uh, I see the books on your bookshelf. Uh -huh, look, I am her greatest fan. <laughs> we appreciate that, sir. It's all right. Um, here. It's a token, please. Just um, help me give it to her. Oh. <laughs> Thank you very much, sir. You're welcome. Thank you very it's much. All, it's alright. I, I, I don't know what to say. <laughs> it's alright. Look, our thoughts shape our hearts, and as a result, our lives. They deserve much more. Ah, I'm sure she's going to appreciate this. <laughs> I pray she does. <laughs> um, so what's your poison? What do I offer you? Ah, please sir, no need for that. I actually want to rush out, so I go and prepare for a date I have later with my wife. <laughs> that's great, that's great. Um, so don't let me keep you, okay? Uh, say me well to her and have a wonderful day. You're welcome. Bless you, sir. Thank it's you, sir. It's all right. All right. Go Good morning, Nigeria. It's a beautiful Saturday morning, and you're welcome to another edition of your favorite show, Creativity and Excellence. Today, with me in the studio, we have one of Africa's finest authors. We're going to be discussing her new book, Finding Love. Viewers, I present to you Amanda Omoefe. I like that. Omoefe. Yeah, you know, that is my life, my everything, my pride. My husband, actually. So tell us, Amanda, everything you have written has come out as bestsellers. What is your secret? <laughs> Well, I would not say I have a secret per se, but um, what I might call my secret would be the fact that I don't write without experiencing it. And I certainly do not write without God. Mm. You know you cannot go wrong with God. No, you cannot. Finding Love was inspired by the dare desire to write something impeccable. You know, something good enough for a literary mind. It's that experience from the old impacting the younger generation or even the generation yet unborn. So in essence, Finding Love is you know, simply an experience. Sure. So finding love is my literary narration of that period of life in a relationship. And the merging together of two souls or even more souls together as one. You know, it's that fire you go through in those moments and the ascending stages to a matured love and lost. You know, and also to find the courage and the best way to walk away from a bully and an obsessed lover. Love is a beautiful thing. Oh, that's so beautiful. <laughs> Thank you, Amanda, for coming by. Thank, Thank you, you for, for having me. By. Please feel free to come by anytime. <laughs> no problem. Sure. Okay, that is it for today on the edition of Creativity and Excellence. Join us next time. Same station, same time. Thank you. Sir. Good evening, sir. Good evening, my son. How yes, are you? Ah, I'm fine, sir. And how is your beautiful wife, our beautiful author? <laughs> She's fine, sir. Please, uh, I'd like to see her. Okay, let me, let me call her. Ah, my beautiful author. Good evening. Good evening. <laughs> uh, this is my boss. Chief Okoya? Yes. Good evening, sir. Good evening, how are you? Look, I have read all your books. Your books have been a constant companion to me. And they've helped me intellectually and otherwise. Oh, wow. <laughs> so I thought it deserving to bring you this. It's the key to the scar. It's yours. <laughs> Go on, take it. Thank you, sir. You're welcome. Sir, I, 
I, I don't know what to say. Don't say anything. She deserves this and more. Hmm? And moreover, you've been a wonderful person to me. And so tonight, seated alone in the middle of the night, I begin a new book. Hmm, what shall I call it? Let's see. Hmm. Got it, yeah. The story of us. I have read almost everything ever written about love. Shakespeare said, Journeys end when lovers meet. When I met Reginald, I knew my journey in search of true love had ended. Is there a problem? Um, yeah, my car seems to be up. No, but seriously, do we need to do like a drill strip over there anytime soon? <laughs> Fine. 
Are you sure you're okay? I don't, I don't know what's happening. Why did you have to abandon me in the middle of our journey, Reggie? Why? Why, Reggie? Why? Why, Reggie? the very essence of my life. It's not the end of the world. It is the end of my world. <laughs> Sharon, please leave. I need to be alone.
how has she been? She has been like this, sir. Amanda, you need to be strong to meet and to depart is the way of life. But to depart and still meet again is the hope of life. I have been hoping for days now. But my Reggie is nowhere to be found. I believe he is in a better place. He's gone beyond us. <laughs> And leaving behind all the promises he made to me. Leaving behind all the happy moments we shared. Death is about the only certainty we have in this world. It's the inescapable moment that we all have with destiny. And my Reggie was too punctual in accepting that appointment, sir. The shots were not his to call. Just look at me. I was writing a book about us. A book about what life gave to me. Now I'm here. Writing about a book. Writing a book about what life took from me. Amanda. You just have to take heart, okay? Oh, God. Why does God give and take? Why is there death in this world? Death has amputated a limb of my life. I miss him. It, it's all right. It's all right. Take heart. We cannot question God, okay? Reginald was my most dedicated staff. He was the greatest asset in the company. For me, a big part, part of my, my life has been stolen. stolen. My heart, heart is bleeding. bleeding. I'll, I'll miss him. him. But we, we all have to be strong. strong. Okay. okay, we have to be strong. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. I have gone through your resume, and I like it. Thank you, sir. Already like you. But tell me, Sam, why should I hire you? I believe I am best suited to work in your prestigious company, sir. I have what it takes to solve problems and to profile solutions to get the required job done. And as a graphic artist with an aesthetic philosophy, I believe in designs to make impressions. I can handle corporate designs, casual and colorful designs, all that is very required in this company. And I can step up to work at optimum level. Mm. Yes, sir. Okay. Yes. Yes. And we all have weaknesses because we are human. 
for everyone has a weakness. Tell me. My weakness. I don't know when to stop. When I get a job started, I don't know when to shift focus, even in the worst of conditions, until success has been achieved. That is my weakness. Sir. I like that. I like that. And I like you. You're hired. I <laughs> Welcome to Blue. to go now. Francis and I are going to see his people tomorrow, so I have to get home to pack a few things. But I'll be back next week. Oh, okay, good. Congratulations. Thank you. Alright, be safe. Alright, <laughs> thank you, okay? Alright, see you. Okay, take care. Hello, sir. Hello, Amanda. How are you tonight? I'm still standing, sir. Uh, sounds like music to my ears. Thank you, sir. Um, it's all right. Have you had something to eat? Well, sir, my appetite has been horrible lately. You need to force yourself to eat something, Amanda. Please. Okay, sir. I will. Yes, I promise I will. Good. Um, I was wondering if I could come take you out sometime. Look, Amanda, you need to step out sometime and fight depression. And I need to see you eat and be sure. Oh, yes sir, yes sir, I'm here. Yeah, I'm here, sir. What do you say? Well, um... Let me let you retire for the night, huh? Okay, sir. Okay. And as you lie down, may God give you more than sleep. Amen. Thank you so much, sir. It's all right. Um, good night, dear. Amanda, you are the most beautiful on earth. Oh, please quit the flattery. The beautiful ones are not even born yet. Forgive my inordinate use of words, but as regards your beauty, I still insist that you are the most beautiful woman I ever set my eyes on. Well, that's your opinion. Yeah, my opinion, and I'm entitled to it. Okay, thanks all the same. You're welcome. I see you're set to go out. Obviously. I'll go with you. To where? Wherever you're going. <laughs> oh no, Chief. <laughs> okay, where exactly are you off to? Well, nowhere in mind. I just wanted to step out and, you know, just to be alone. One of those moments. Okay, um, 
Let's do it this way. I'll take you wherever you're going after my treat. Deal? Okay, deal. <laughs> Please join me. Why are you staring at me like that? Beauty, they say, lies in the eyes of the beholder. Oh, please don't start. But I speak the truth. You're beautiful, Amanda. Thank you, sir. Uh, could you please cut down on the subtitle? <laughs> it's not laughable. But last time I checked, you were my late husband's boss. Yes, there is no denying that. But last time I checked, too, I also had a name. My name is Chief William Sokoya. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Amanda. I am struggling to see what's funny here. You can call me Okoya or just Okoya. That's not possible. Nothing is impossible, my dear. <laughs> so, tell me about your love life. Well, uh, that part of me is littered with question marks. Still, I want to hear about it. I have never been married. Reggie told me that. Okay. There is only one woman that I have ever truly loved. But... But two weeks to our wedding, she died. Oh my God, I'm so sorry. It's all right, it's, it's okay, it's okay. Um, it's been 33 years since. It's just that I, I get a little nostalgic whenever. <laughs> well, it's all right, really. It's all right. So tell me, it's been two years after Reginald's death and burial. What's next for you? Well, I have a writing offer with a publishing house. Wow. That's nice. Thank you. No, really. Yeah, thank you. What about your love life? Would you still open the door to your heart if love came knocking again? Would you still open the doors to your heart if love came knocking again? This was the question he asked me on our last date. A question that continued to bang on my mind like a broken record. As much as I struggled to get my mind off this question, it came rising again in my heart with increased occurrence and regularity. My answer to the question was... My answer to the question was yes. Yes, I would still open the doors to my heart if love came knocking. Yes, I would love to love again.
to live again. Hello, Chief. You should have called. I'm so sorry. I was just caught up in my writing. Oh, okay. So how is the book coming up? Well, it's coming up well. Then uh, I shouldn't distract you. Uh, let me go. Just wanted to hear your beautiful voice before going to sleep. <laughs> Why are you laughing? <laughs> yeah, you're so funny. So it's no longer my face that is beautiful. It's now my voice that is beautiful. Everything about you, Amanda, is beautiful. Even your laughter. For real. <laughs> you have a way with words, don't you, Chief? <laughs> what do you expect? I am hanging with an author. <laughs> Just go to bed, Chief, please. <laughs> I am gone, I'm gone. <laughs> Bye. Um, Amanda. I'll send my driver to pick you up by 12 noon tomorrow. And there is something very important I want to discuss with you. Something my life, my destiny is tied to. Hmm, that sounds serious. Okay, anyway, I'll see you tomorrow then. All right, good night. Good night. <sighs> yes, I would still open the doors to my heart if love came knocking. Thank you, and you're beautiful too, my dear. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, Amanda. Uh, so how are you? I am good. Okay. Now, would you make me the happiest man alive by coming in? Okay. So, Amanda, what's your poison? A glass of water will do. Mm -mm. This is your first time in my house. Water won't go. Please excuse me. Sorry. Okay. I am still waiting, Amanda. Oh, please, sorry. Just a glass of water. <laughs> um, Daddy. Is there no maid around to assist in these things? Amanda, today is a special day for me. Hmm? Oh, one more thing, please. May I please have your Wi-Fi information? 
of course you can, Amanda. Uh, but better still, uh, why don't you use my system? It, it's over there and it's already connected. Okay, all right. Okay, okay. You. you're welcome. Password, please. Amanda. Ta? Uh, no, the password, Amanda. Oh, okay. Surprised? Chief, what is happening? What are my pictures doing on here? Amanda, you have a beauty that redeems the shining of the stars. I only came to comfort you after the loss of your husband. But I found love in you. And going back has never been easy. Amanda, you are the love of my old age. My newfound happiness. Chief, these pictures from the internet, my social media, Chief, this is insane. Maybe, maybe love is indeed insane. Amanda. Amanda, please let me love you. Chief, I have to go now. Please, tell your driver to take me home. Amanda. Amanda, I followed my heart. I want to love you. I, I want to fulfill destiny with you. Chief, I must go now. Uh, oh, okay. Uh, can I at least drive you home? No. Why? Chief, I thought the love and care you showed me was like that of a father I never had. Chief, you're obsessed and that is dangerous. No, no, no. I am not obsessed. I, I just love. And it's only you, Amanda, and no one else. See? I lost my first love 33 years ago. And since then, I have never seen the pants of another woman ever. I have loved no one else. Until I set my eyes on you, Amanda. Am Amanda, please. Give meaning to my world and make me die a fulfilled man. Please. I need to go. Please don't stop me. Uh, Amanda. Amanda. 
Girl, you hurt yourself if you go on like this. It's two years already. Learn to move on. You must learn to live again, Amanda. Sharon, how can I live again when everything reminds me of him? Reginald is what I see each time I close my eyes to sleep. And he's what I see at every waking hour. Yeah, it's understandable. You two were close. My dear, we were not close. We were one. Reginald was my other half. My best friend. And he was my heartbeat. Sorry, your call cannot be completed as dialed. Please check the number and dial again, or call your...
Amanda, I know you're in there. Please open the door. Amanda, please open the door. What do you want? Forgiveness. I don't know what I've done. But whatever it is, I am sorry. All I did was express the love that burned within me. Those pictures weren't meant to hurt her. They were meant to show her how deeply in love I am with her. Sharon, I love your friend. I love Amanda more than life itself. This is serious. It took me over 33 years to fall in love again. I loved my late girl, but then she died. And after her death, no woman has been able to fill in that gap again. I thought I'd never fall in love again. I'd all but given up on my love life. But along came Amanda. And everything changed. Sharon, tell her that I love her. I will. Tell her too that I have no life without her. I will. Good. Tell her too that. I need her in my unfinished life. 
It's too hard to let me love her. That old man is crazily in love with you. I mean, crazy. Amanda, give love a second chance. Give life a second chance. Sharon, but what would the world say? What do you say? He cared for you while your husband was alive and still the only man seeking and haunting your love till date. Please. Sharon, I don't think I can ever love another. A man who could go as far as having hundreds of your pictures on his laptop. I'm sure he has some on his phones too. Such a man deserves your love. A man who squeezes out all the time in the world and stays with you to ensure your happiness. is certainly worth your love. He does not love me. Sharon Chifokoya is obsessed and that is dangerous. The man is insane. No. He's simply one of a kind. He lost the very essence of life when he lost his love to the cold hands of death. Remained unmarried in his 50s. All for the love of a woman who died some 32 or 33 years ago. Amanda, you are the only woman who has been able to take him out of that misery. Please, my friend. Give love a second chance. Give life a second chance. You deserve to be happy. He pleaded with me to make this arrangement. Please talk to him. Please. Okay, please. Amanda. Amanda, once again, I apologize. Once again, I say I didn't have those pictures to hurt you. Once again, I say I love you. I love you, Amanda, more than you can ever imagine. More than my words can ever frame. Amanda, please, forgive me. I have walked a thousand miles just to get you. Amanda, I want to live again. I want to have a life again. I want to have a world, a world with you, Amanda. I want to marry you. And so, in the process of time, I opened the doors of my heart to Okoya. It was also a much-awaited wedding. A much-talked-about wedding also. The most talked about wedding. Some people even argued.
Hello? The evil that men did has come back to haunt them. Who is this? Dr. Chigozi. What? Your worst nightmare. to meet me three blocks from my house. Are you there? Yes, I'm here. Hand over the money to the guy standing in front of you. What? I didn't speak Chinese. In this case, it's four million naira. I was hoping to hand it over to you. You see, Chief, the last time I remember coming to pick up money from you guys, I had bullets shot at you. I'd like to see you, Chief. I don't wish to see you, Chief. Are you going to hand over the money? 